Hello and welcome to the What's New Overview of Spatial Analyzer's May 2019 release. The point and cloud point coverage may now be displayed for a specific cylinder as part of the fit by showing a segment which expands as additional points are taken. A translucent cylinder shell is always displayed to clarify the actual placement of the full measured cylinder. Geometry relationships and compared to nominal geometry relationships now offer the ability to be directly measured and trapped in the inspection bar through scanning. A proximity threshold may now be set on the nominal feature such that the only data within the preset proximity is acquired while scanning. Settings have been added to allow filtering on the fly, much like using multiple cloud clipping planes at one time. Surface face and edge proximity filters may also be asserted, allowing feature-specific cloud data to be collected. A new feature type has been added for GD&T annotations to allow them to be directly linked to features. Doing so accomplishes two tasks. It ensures that the nominal feature from the geometry relationship is used in the annotation as the reference, and the feature check directly uses the points associated with that relationship. This eliminates the need to associate points with both the geometry relationship feature and the feature check independently. You now have the option to display only the active feature check when iterating through the inspection routine. All annotations not directly linked to the selected feature check are hidden. We are excited to announce support for two new instruments. Leica's ATS600 is the first reflectorless scanning tracker on the market. The cloud data returned from this tracker includes intensity and quality information that may be displayed as a colorization of the returned point cloud. The Mitutoyo SpaceTrack series of laser trackers has also been added through the use of the API device interface. With the constant addition of new features, it has been challenging adding them to the existing user interface, and in many cases, these enhancements become buried deep in the menu structure. With our new ribbon design, Spatial Analyzer has more of a natural and intuitive workflow while bringing the software commands to the fingertips of the user. The ribbon menu is still under development with language translations and custom options to come, but we encourage you to explore this new interface by switching to it in the display tab of the user options dialog. Thank you for tuning in and we encourage you to explore our newest software enhancements and to contact us at support at kinematics.com.